What's up guys? So the first one that I'm going to demonstrate is a half kneeling adductor rock back. This is gonna stretch our adductors on the inside of our leg. What these muscles do is they bring our leg closer to the middle of our body and they also internally rotate. So I'm going to stick my leg out, externally rotate by sticking my toes up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna reach out in front of me and I'm gonna slowly rock my weight back and back forward. Rocking back and back and forth. Get one from the side so y'all can see both angles. Toes are up towards the ceiling. That's gonna give that the maximum stretch. I'm gonna reach out in front of me and push back. Reach out in front of me, push back. What I'm about to demonstrate is a half kneeling quad stretch. The goal of this stretch is to feel a good stretch through the middle of my quad and the leg that is directly under me. A couple things that I wanna think about right here is one, I wanna keep that knee directly under this hip. I don't wanna be too far extended where that knee is back behind my hip. I wanna do my best to keep that knee right under my hip and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit nice and tall. I don't wanna be too curvy with my back, too extended with my back. I wanna keep my abs tight. It's gonna keep my spine a little bit flatter, keeping that knee right under that hip. And what I'm gonna think about is kind of pushing that left butt cheek forward. So I'm just gonna push that butt cheek forward without moving the rest of my body forward. And if I'm doing it properly, I should feel that stretch right down the middle of that leg that is directly under me, right here. All right, guys, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is what I like to call uh, threading the needle, a thread the needle. This is gonna be an upper spine, uh, thoracic spine mobility exercise right here. I'm using a foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, it's okay. You don't need one. It just makes it easier for me to kind of help feel that reach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up on all fours and I'm going to place the foam roller on the outside of my arm. Again, if you don't have one, just do it without it. I'm gonna put my arm on the foam roller, keeping this arm, my right arm, nice and stiff. I'm gonna reach, reach, reach with my palm up. My palm is gonna stay up towards the ceiling. That's gonna give me the maximum stretch back here behind my shoulder. And I'm gonna reach, 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 and I'm gonna reset. And one thing that we wanna think about as the goal is the shoulder that I'm stretching it with. I wanna try to get that shoulder down towards the ground. So as I go, I'm going, I'm reaching that shoulder towards the ground, and then I'm coming back up and resetting and redoing it all over again. Guys, so what I'm about to demonstrate is a serratus wall slide with a little bit of shoulder flexion at the end. Our serratus muscles are those fish scale looking muscles that you see on some people with lower body fat, the three little lines right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up against the wall. I like to put one foot against the wall just to keep me a little bit stable. And having this split stance kind of prevents me from getting into this very extended posture right here with my lower back. It kind of allows me to keep my back a little bit straighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my arms directly in front of me on the wall. And one thing that I wanna think about is kind of pushing away from the wall through my forearms. I don't wanna be too close to the wall when I do this. I wanna be kind of pushing away from the wall a little bit. I'm gonna bring my hands up, not straight up, a little bit at an angle. I'm gonna try to keep my forearms through my elbow on the wall. And then at the end, I'm gonna pinch my scaps together and lift off the wall and come back and come back down. One thing that I don't wanna do is when I go to take my arms off the wall, I don't wanna bend my back to get my arms off the wall. I wanna push through the wall, slide up and bring those scaps together in the back to get separation from the wall. And that is a serratus wall slide.